you can do that second hand. Pew, pew, pew. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It was requested for me some time ago that I did another thrift haul or what I bought in secondhand stores recently. I buy all my <coughs> but I buy all my clothes secondhand, so whenever you ask me where this scarf is from or where this blazer is from or where these pants are from, secondhand. Since April I did collect a few items. I have this vision sometimes of something that I really want to do and then I try and recreate that vision with secondhand items. So that is what is the case with these items in general. Uh, let's start out with something that I have shown you on Instagram literally a hundred times already. I'm so sorry for the jeans spam situation but I really really love these jeans so yeah I have an incredibly hard time finding jeans that actually fit me in the thrift store. Either they're just way, way too big, they're just massive, or they're way, way, way too small. Um, so, yeah, it's sometimes, it's, it's pretty difficult to find jeans. So when I find something, I go completely berserk. Um, and I found these, uh, and I've never really owned a pair of, you know, blue jeans. Never owned a pair of those. So I was very, very excited. Um, and they're quite baggy on me, as you probably can tell by the little clip I will probably be able to insert somewhere around here. Um, but when I bought them, they had only holes on the thighs, just a few ones, and they've, they've become bigger because I've been using these pants a lot. And then I cut them myself, so all the cutouts were something that I made myself. Um, because I'm not really comfortable in shorts. I'm not going to wear shorts ever outside of my house. Um, so I would really like a pair of jeans that, you know, had some of the same purposes as shorts and, you know, a bit of the ventilation thing going on, um, but still be jeans. So this is the, just the perfect compromise in the middle way for me. I really, really love these jeans. And yeah, as I said, as you can see, they're a bit baggy, they're not tight fitted, and I paid what is equivalent of £3 or something for them. So, so amazing. And I know I'm, I'll be going to wear these a ton. A little ton, yeah. Uh, bo, 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 bo. Then let's take some of the smaller things. Um, that was from a charity shop. The next thing is something that I bought of a friend who had this account where she puts stuff up for sale that she doesn't need anymore, she doesn't want, and then I bought a new pair of sunglasses. And they're from this brand called Quay. I, I don't know what's, what, what that even is, but I really, really like the shape of these, as you can see. You have probably also seen these on Instagram a ton. Then I bought a pair of shoes, and I'm not really big on buying shoes anymore, because if you have followed me when I didn't do Zero Waste, you would, you would know that I had over 100 pairs of shoes. I know it's completely massive and insane, and every minimalist on earth is puking right now because of this. Um, so after being interested in sustainability and zero waste and this more minimalistic uh, out view on life, I decided to get rid of all my shoes. So now I only have just the bare necessities, um, which include some Dr. Martens, a pair of All Stars, and a pair of Birkenstocks, and just a few heels um, for you know fancy time. But I really, really wanted a pair of heels that were equivalent to my boots. I have this pair of boots that I've been using for 100 years. Um, I wanted a summer version of that. So I went on Trend Sales, which is a second-hand bazaar thing, store, store. It's an online platform in Scandinavia, mostly in Denmark, I think, where people can sell and buy from each other. And it's a really lovely concept. Um, so I bought these shoes from this site, and I got them for a tenner. And I got them from a girl who lives somewhere in Denmark and didn't want them anymore. So now I have them. And I really, really like them. I think that they have this modern... i never been into trends and I never felt like I was worthy of the trends and whatnot. Um, so it's... they're just so fancy looking and I really, really like them. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, let's start with something that I picked up yesterday. I had an hour before my tattoo appointment yesterday, so I just went by a second-hand store that is nearby that usually has a lot of good things. So, I was right, they had awesome things and stuff that I actually had been missing, so yeah. Um, I bought this cardigan, which is very fancy looking. It has this, you know, a bit of Chanel vibe with this trimming or whatnot. Um, 
but it is in this lovely lovely dark blue color which I really love and the material is very very light um, so I'd be able to style this very casually as well which I love um, yeah and I paid 25 Danish kroner for this so that's a bit more than two pounds I think yesterday I found something that I can use all the time it's very lovely I found this top um, and it is one of these very fancy on trend off the shoulder tops I don't know what's wrong with me ah, 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 hopping on trends uh, it's in cotton which is lovely which means my skin can breathe um, but yeah I really really love this I think maybe I'm going to take these off or at least tuck them in because they're very 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 long uh, and I'm not very wide so they will fall off my shoulder so either I'll tuck them in or I'll snap them off so yeah um, but this is very very lovely I really like this I like small sleeves I'm not very keen on uh, no sleeves makes me feel weird so the sleeve is awesome and everything is just awesome the length is also very great and I will show you this on inserted clip so yeah and this I paid around two pounds for so. then something uh, I'm making a mess I am making a mess then for something that I have been looking for for so long if you follow me on anywhere you will know that I have this trench coat it's a black trench coat that I bought in H&M in 2012 or 11 it's very very old and I love it I love it to pieces but I have been wearing it so much that it has gotten you know discolored or what to say the black is not as black as it used to be it's almost brown and if you have a good tip for how to maybe recreate the black color without using artificial dye um, I would love to hear you out that would be amazing but for the time being I really wanted a replacement trench coat also because I think it's just a bit too short and I like you know long jacket long jacket Doc Martens sunglasses no one will ever talk to me it's amazing um, so I really wanted a longer woman's trench coat because I've tried men's trench coats and you know the shoulder parts just so massive on me that I look like I drowned in jacket so no but yesterday I found what I have been looking for for so long I'm so excited I'm just building this up excitement I don't know um, but it is a trench coat that was originally from ASOS but I got it for fiver can you believe that it is amazing it is not black per se I don't know how the camera will pick up the color but it is blackish um, almost almost like a very 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 deep dark blue but I will manage I really really like it and it has some bronze detailing on it it has this huge collar which I love I can you know get my inner Sherlock Holmes on it's amazing I love <laughs> I love this jacket and I wore it immediately after I went out of the store put my own jacket in my bag and then I put this on instead because it looks so badass and it's super 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 long it goes all the way down to yeah all around my mid calf something like that it's very long and I love that so this is something I know it's supposed to be summer but have you ever experienced Danish summer it's a great afternoon, but that's it. So this I can wear all year. Uh, then for something that I have also been wearing a ton, but I don't know if I've showed it on Instagram. I'm not very big on outfit posts anymore. Can you tell? I just don't think it's important to show what I wear. So, whatever. Uh, yeah, but this thing is something that, that is falling off its hanger. One second. I bought something with shoulder pads, but it actually looks good, so that's good. Um, I bought this, it's like a long cardigan, but it's sheer, it has holes in it all the way down, um, and it has big, big sleeves that I have rolled up because I think they look funny. It has shoulder pads and this lovely little cutout details in the front, and this is something I wear on top of practically everything, um, especially during summer because I love wearing skirts, but I do not like wearing skirts and then having to bow down or something and people just get to know me very well I'm not very comfortable with that so this has just the perfect length for covering up my behind when I wear skirts so yeah and the last thing I bought is a dress which was originally from H&M and I got this for maybe three pounds or something in that neighborhood not very much it is a semi-long 
a grey dress with some lovely cutouts in the front but the thing that really is a showstopper is these sleeves. I love sleeves like this. It's just delightful to look at. Um, so yeah, this is very comfortable and I've been wearing it, you know, just around running errands, everything, because it's so light and floaty, so you can just really... <laughs> yeah, I'm having a good time. I'm having a delightful time. So yeah, that is everything I bought since my last thrift haul. I really hoped that you liked these items. I did. I think I have been going through maybe this style development where I'm just really, really, really loving, you know, good staple pieces that I can wear with a ton of different things and maybe less statement pieces like this. Um, but, you know, you can combine them in a very lovely and stylish manner. And um, so, yeah, that is it. I hope that you guys like this video. If you want to see more, you can hit that subscribe button. That would make my day. You can also like this video. That would also make me very happy. And you can always follow me on my blog and on Facebook and on Instagram. All links are down below. I hope to see you guys next time and take really good care of yourselves. Until then, bye!